on WJRR. My name is Mel Taylor. This is Super Dave at oh, the oh. RP Funding Studio. You guys uh, ready for a great Ooh. show today? Yeah! Yeah, we got a good crowd, Dave. They're a little fired up. I like this. It's <laughs> only noon. I just woke up like five minutes ago. Of course myself, you did. So. Of course you did. All right, guys, Sorry. put your hands together for Chris from Trapped. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thanks for having me. You rocked out on the show a little while earlier. I don't know if you guys got to hear. I think you guys preview. were in here waiting, but it was a nice preview on the air. Oh, so yeah. thanks for playing your new song for us. Um, how you doing today? I'm doing awesome. I just uh, love Orlando. You know, I love the weather. Well, you said that earlier. You love it that it's more warm down here. He actually read the weather reports, though, because he wore the proper headgear you know, for I, Orlando I weather today. My head gets That's cold. Good. Well, I, I asked you that earlier, too. It's like, um, what's the degrees? I mean, it's like cold for us right now. I, you know, I, I think when you're in Michigan and it's below five, <laughs> and you come down here, <laughs> it's awesome. Well, we're glad you're here. This is your second leg of your Reborn tour, correct? Uh -huh. yep. Plan at the fair tonight. You're going to be out there, right? Rock night action. Myself and Slore will be there to, uh, how did you say earlier, uh, pep up the crowd before yes. you guys go on. Yes. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Pump but them we'll... up. You know, you throw out what we talked about, you know. Now you guys played just last night up in Jacksonville, right? Yeah, it was awesome. It was so awesome. you've recovered quickly. Oh, yeah. I like that. I say when we do these RP funding things, the bands are always late, but you guys are here at, like, I think before I even got here. Well, like you know, eight this morning, you rolled in your tour bus in the yeah, parking lot? I, I think we rolled in at, like, 8 in the morning, so, so, you know. I think I woke up at 10.30 and walked right in. So. <laughs> Rocked it out for us. <laughs> no problem. All right, you guys ready? Or not you guys, I guess you. Are you ready to play us a tune? You got a few for us today. This is, this is Mary, so. Hi, Hello, Mary. Mary. My acoustic guitar, Mary. You know, um, last name Jane. But um, Of course, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, so me and Mary Jane will be uh, jamming some songs for you guys right now. But what are you going to play for us first? Um, this is the Mumford & Sons versions of Headstrong, okay? Yeah. Here we yeah. Go. Truth, I got a doubt A different motive than your eyes And now I'm out See you later I see your fantasy You wanna make it a reality Babe, then go See inside It's not about his here Well, now that's over I see your motives inside Decisions to hide uh, Back off, I'll take you on Headstrong, I'll take on anyone I know that you are wrong Strong, and strong, back up, I'll take you on, and strong, I take on anyone, I know that you are wrong, and this is not where you belong.
Quite a few times with Headstrong because I feel like it is such a staple, like in the active rock radio world. You know, um, you know what's you, funny? Uh, it was the uh, biggest alternative rock song of the last decade. Well, I think in the last decade, though, alternative rock, it's kind of you know? like it's mushed together. What, it changes it, it, a bit. It was weird. It baffled me because they were like, "Hey, here's an award for the the number one, <laughs> the number one alternative. alternative rock song of last decade." When you think. You know, yeah, and it was well, like but, number seven. But I feel like the last decade, song. though, too, it's kind of weird because the music, like when you think of alternative, you might think of more of like a Mumford and Sons, like it, you well, said, that's you the know? Mumford, yeah. Mumford, Mumford and Sons. I was just getting ready to say Mumford and Sons is very proud of that cover that you just yeah. did. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was great. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did you ever get sick of playing that song? No, you know because I I just started playing it this way. Gotcha. So you know it's like it, it's it's so awesome to be able to play it. The way that it was written, and you know, with the acoustic guitar and the vocal, and just you know, like the thing that you do on your couch, hanging out, drinking beers, you know, that's that's what I love to do but since I was 12, song, 13 yeah. years old. So it's, it just puts you right back in that, you know, when you when you write, when you're 20, 21, you, when you write the song, you know. Yeah, well, so I, I don't want to say ages and stuff, but I think I was reading about you Wikipedia today. Um, so I guess you guys started like around 97, 98. Yeah, that we're time. Little, little 15 year olds. You're in high school. Oh, okay, that means that I was I'm a little older yeah. than you because I graduated in 90. Yeah. Seven, started, started, <laughs> I started playing guitar when I was 11 or 12, you know, and then by the time 15, 16 rolled around, you know, started a band, like lots, most 15, 16 yeah. year olds do. But you're still doing it, so. It's still, still, it's still my job, so it's, it's an amazing thing, and we've got to thank every one of our fans for making that possible for us to do, you know, and thank you, man. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you well, so much. Well, you spent, uh, you know, I guess, like I say, you started in 97, and obviously with Headstrong, that was around 2000. Yeah, we were so. in high school, you know, yeah. hanging out at, uh, you know, our, old, uh, our guitar <laughs> players, you know, little side house that he had, and, you know, his parents let us jam in there. And so what we'd do at, like, you know, right when 2.30 hit, school was out, we'd all I'll go over there with 50 people. We jam we, out. We we were you know I don't I don't condone any younger kids doing this, but we we did this when we were in high school. We'd go to this place called Boss Liquors, and and we go and we just throw a bunch of money down, grab a bunch of booze, and run out. <laughs> <laughs> the guy didn't care. <laughs> Did you ever do that, Suba? <laughs> Not at all. I have no clue what you. I and, still do and, that today. Like I pretend and, I'm just that. And know? we and we we bought lots of na of natty ice. Oh heck yeah! It's not it's, you know it's not the best. Mad Dog world, 2020 but it's maybe five bucks for a twelve pack. <laughs> See, I was more of a bush like kind of guy. <laughs> well, I was just gonna ask you know being from that you know from '97 until now, you guys have been in the um, studio I guess the last nine months or so working on a new album. Like, yeah. what's the difference you know as far as the years have progressed with music. Like, well, yeah, you know. you know, it's like this This record, it feels a lot like the first one we did because we had so much time to do the first one, we had so much time to do this one. So it, it really, we were able to really tweak things and make things sound the way we really wanted them yeah. to. Whereas, you know, you do a bunch of demos for the second, third, fourth records, and then you got, you know, eight weeks to do, to, to record the record. And, you know, it's like if it, you get it mastered and you turn it into your label that pushes it and all that stuff and, and, uh, and you know, you're stuck with it, you know. So if you're t <laughs> five years later, like, oh, I wish I was saying that part just a little differently, you know. So there's no feelings on that on this record. Yeah. And, and we, have, we have a great team, you know, like all the label stuff that, that's it. happening. But we got to do it on our timeline, which was that's yeah. what we wanted. 
Yeah. yeah. How about you take some questions? Let's do from it. Your fans. This one right here. Oh, she's really wanting it. Go ahead. You go ahead. Do you even want a microphone, or you just like you're the female equivalent of me? Give her a mic. Go ahead. Hold on a second. She needs a mic. She's important. She's a VIP. (laughs) No, I actually was born in San Francisco, and uh, grew up in the Bay Area, and lived three years in New Jersey, and then moved back to the Bay Area, and then, and then been uh, been in uh, the SoCal area, (laughs) Southern. <laughs> Some people call it the armpit of America, but um, with Michigan being the asshole of America. But uh, I saw you in Michigan like three times. Oh yeah, I love Michigan. The Michigan rock they fans are so awesome. Lonely. You know they they're not they're they're right on the level of, of Florida rock fans. You know oh, so yeah, you know it's like audience. yeah I I love you know places where rock really means but something. I really want to you know? go to your concert tonight, Dad. You will. Really? You, you will be there. Yes. We gotta make sure we give her. As we'll, you take, wish. we'll take care of her, Chris. We'll give her some tickets. We gotta talk to Josh to get her some tickets. Yes, <laughs> you're we'll on. work on that. And I said you're a VIP. Security, obviously. <laughs> you're a VIP. All right, you're we got VIP. another question from Wade over here. You go, man. Yeah. What's up, Wade? Well, she kind of got the question a little bit. Uh, well, like, what area are you guys kind of from, and uh, do you have any musical influences? Influences that you know what we we um w- when we were in the Northern California area we were growing up and I I watched Papa Roach when I was like 15, so before I started we before we started trapped and any of that stuff so you know, we there was this little 300 person club called the Cactus Club where Metallica played you know Green Day played uh, you know every Megadeth every big band in the 80s you know played there you know when they're getting their start. And um, we, you know, you know, we had Deftones, we had Papa Roach, we had this band called Dredge, we had Spike 1000, we had uh, um, this band called Insolence. We had a lot of these bands that were signed to labels and you know, in 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 went somewhere. And um, it was a really kind of a cool scene, you know, where it was like I think Rage Against the Machine kind of started it, and then you know there was this rap metal thing that was going on. And uh, I'm I'm afraid to say that even I've dabbled in rapping on our first <laughs> record. <laughs> But I was 16. Come on, but uh, you know, after that record, we no more have that. And then it was just just straight melodic rock, and, and we've been doing the same thing ever since. But it, it was kind of cool to be part of somewhat of a scene. You know, like they had the Seattle grunge thing, and then the you know the 80s hair metal LA thing. And you know, it seems like every city kind of has their their thing that has their time. And and that was that was our time, and it was great to be part of that late 90s, you know new metal kind of thing that that happened you know and uh and it was you know basically like a california kind of southern and northern california and a lot of a lot of those bands came out of that scene so we played a lot yeah. with those bands and the coolest thing was you know seeing pop roach at 15 and then nine months later opening up for pop roach that's you know? pretty awesome yeah what was probably our third show we ever did you know so wow. and then to play with them again so many more times in the, over the last you know five years you know so it's great moving up the food chain pretty quick Real yeah quick. it was cool man. it was cool <laughs> All right, I think Dan's got a question for you. Hey, man, thanks for playing. This is awesome. Oh, man. No problem. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you for great. saying that, man. I but appreciate that. Coming from the military background, wanted to know, have you ever thought about teaming up with, uh, like, MWR, organization like that, to kind of play for the troops? Type Dude, of oh, yeah. I mean, we, in, uh, in uh, just a few years ago, we went to uh, uh, South Korea, and we played four, four bases there, and it was awesome. And it was right when there was, like, tensions, you know, between the North and the South. So it was probably the mid-'09 or something like that. And, you know, the Kim Jong-il, you know, the, the, the late one, you know, was, was talking like he's going to do this and that and this and that, but he doesn't do anything, obviously. And, uh, you know, it was kind of a weird time because they had, you know, the, some of the South Korean troops, you know, and the, the American troops were ready to go. Like, they were ready to storm in there and, and stop whatever what might happen you know and so it was it was a weird time and we played that first show we played was the most northern base that was closest to the dmz you know the de- demilitarized zone and uh it was it was eerie because you know, it was like you didn't you didn't know if what we, was you didn't know if if king john mill was going to throw something over the over the border at us you know Don't while, while we were playing long. you know <laughs> But the troops were awesome. 
they had a blast. I mean, there was thousands of them there. Even like the most decorated general was hanging out drinking with us. It was the coolest thing. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. We 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 totally support our troops, and and we we just did a music video, "Living in the Eye of the Storm." It's on our YouTube page, and and um, we, it's dedicated to the troops and kind of a troop scenario and and, and what they go through, you know. And uh, yeah. That's awesome. Good question. Are you want to play another song for us? What do you play sure. next? Sure. Um, let's do. Uh, who's going home tonight? Rock and roll? Right, here we Shots. go. Live, WJR.com. Don't think we ever really got it right, got it right. Both you and I have always kept it bottled. Can you show me what it feels like, feels like To give yourself away Why can't I, oh, there's no one around Who picks me up when I'm down like you do And when you can't hear a sound Will the silence drown you too Oh, yeah Who's going along with you tonight? Was it real or am I part of your collection? Have you crossed the line? Who's going along with you tonight? Oh, I feel that you're an open invitation. Is this how we say goodbye? Keeping secrets somewhere down below, down below. I wish you had the heart to tell me that you sold your soul. So many things you couldn't let me know, let me know. You had to run away. Why can't I? Like you do And when you can't hear a sound Will the silence drown you too Oh, oh yeah. Who's going along with you tonight? Was it real or am I part of your collection? Have you crossed the line? Who's going along with you tonight? Oh, I feel that you're an open invitation Is this how we say goodbye? Goodbye, what's going on with you tonight? Can you tell me what is wrong and what is right? Who's going along with you tonight? Yeah. It's getting out of the city alone I've been waiting, I've been waiting And you still ain't home I have never ever felt so low I've been thinking and thinking Where did you go? Who's going along with you tonight? Was it real or am I part of your collection? Have you crossed the line? Who's going along with you tonight? Oh, I feel it should open is this how we say goodbye? Who's going along with you tonight? Goodbye, who's going along with you tonight? Yeah. Can you tell me what is wrong, what is right? Yeah. Who's going along with you tonight? Nice. Traps on WJRR.com. All right, Chris, we have a few more questions for you. Oh, you're going away with Mary Jane. No more Mary Jane? Mary Jane's going away and Birth your is coming in. This, uh, Does it have a name baby, for that one? This baby's called Skylar. Skylar. <laughs> she's, been, she's, she's been known to do a dance for a few. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good dancer. And, uh, you know, she takes her clothes off here and there. <laughs> oh, good, um, Watch out. She, I forgot it's my on, ones. It's online right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Annie, your turn for question. Hi, I'm Annie. Um, are there any new groups coming up, new artists that really, really, Ooh, new groups. Um, you know, I think um, the Otherwise is a, a, a really cool new song. Young Guns is a real cool new, new song. And, um, you know, there's a, there's so much stuff that I listen to. Like, just, ton, you know, like I said, Mumford Sons. I, I like that. Because I also love Dave Matthews. That's, that's basically the reason why I started playing acoustic guitar. I think he's like the guy. He, I mean, the, the riffs he plays 
or you know crazy all that you know all that crazy stuff that he does and uh you know really inspired me to start just playing acoustic guitar you know and um it fed a, fed its our way it, its way into our music a little bit but um that's what Mumford said kind of reminds me of but um that and and um you know i just think you know, the new 3 days grace song was awesome you know the chalk outline was uh, it's kind of like dubstepy you know you know the kind of like electronic but you know not too too much so i thought that was cool that they didn't go too far into that so yeah that's the kind of you know there's a bunch of new stuff that sounds great you know I do. I'm a scientist. I'm actually a physicist, but I've been experimenting with cloning, and I would like to know if the group. You just want to clone me? <laughs> I want to save all y'all for later. So, so one of me can play guitar, and one can sing. <laughs> no, I want to save you for me for later. <laughs> oh wow! All right, moving on right, from moving that on. question. Okay, hey. Nobody feels awkward at all. No, <laughs> I, especially hey, me. Hey. No, not at all. You're going to be used for your music ability and apparently a lot of other things. Yes. <laughs> Another question. I'm cloning. Vinny up here has a question for you. How would you compare? It's on. Here, just talk to you. How would you compare this album to the other albums you have? Uh, yeah, I think that this album is just it's it's got a it's got a depth that um, that uh, I think is is just you know more mature and and I think being you know after doing this you know professionally for ten years you know you get. You you see a lot of things, you know. You see you see the world, and you see the country, and you see everything that that um, a lot of people aren't you know aren't privy to, and and uh, and it really feeds its way into your music lyrically and, and musically, you know. And uh, and that's I think the biggest difference is that you know we call it reborn just because you know this record is was all about us taking our destinies into our own hands, which I think that most Americans at this point have decided they're going to do. You know, and they're not going to rely on anybody else to help them. They're going to just take their lives in their own hands. And uh, that's what this record's really about. Like, most of the songs are about the, the, the struggles and the tribulations that you might go through when you really, you know, rely on yourself and, and really um, make it so that you're the only one that, that you can blame. You know, if you rely on other people, you can blame them. When you, when you take that away, you, you rely on yourself and your success or failures dependent on, on how hard you work. So, you know, I think that we should all, we should all be that way. And, and that's kind of the general theme of this record, you know? I got one more question, I believe. Christine? Out of any of the bands that you met or toured with, which one was your favorite? To the crew. With, the crew, oh, that's awesome. Motley Crew. Oh, that's awesome. Nikki Six called me and he's like, you want to be on the... You want to be on the first crew fest? I was like, yes. You could have ended that whole statement right there with Nikki Six called me. Nick, <laughs> Nikki Six <laughs> called me. Would have been fine. Oh no, we've we've uh, we've written songs together and stuff. He's That's a awesome. great guy, man. He's just, I mean, we've talked about life, and he's just, he's got a lot of wisdom, you know. I mean, he's, he's been through a lot of of a lot of things, yeah. you know. Yeah, and life, uh, death, back to life, and back to death. Yeah, and he, so, you know, just tell, just you just just uh, his words of advice about life, and and he's kind of like a guru at this point, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah. like that, and he's a really good picture taker too. He loves, he's a very, really, he loves photography and all that kind of stuff. So he's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, he's great. Are you ready to rock out another song for us? I'm what ready. Are you next? I'm gonna do the new one. Bring it. Something to say To see your confession I am just too hard to break Bring it, bring it I'm still right here undefeated Say whatever you want It really don't mean anything Bring it, bring it If there's no fear, let me see it There is nothing you got That will ever get to me Your words are reckless Delusional Inside you're helpless, far from who you say you are You try to push me 
over the edge I won't let you pull me down to your level again Breathe, breathe, I'm still right here on the feet and Say whatever you want, it really don't mean anything Breathe, breathe, if there's no fear let me see it There is nothing you got that will ever get to me Are you ready for this? Cause I've been ready my whole life Are you ready for this? I am gonna get mine Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm taking the hard line Are you ready for this? You're never gonna get out alive yeah. And now you're here to step me down How do you like it now? Breathe, breathe I'm still right here on the feet and Say whatever you want It really don't mean anything Breathe, breathe If there's no fear, let me see There is nothing you got That will ever get to me Breathe, breathe Breathe, 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 breathe. Um, I kind of didn't even ask you this question, but you said that you wrote that song in like five minutes or something? Yeah, I did. Like, that's how Headstrong was. You know? So some of those songs where you're just sitting there, you're hanging out, drinking the beers, you're watching TV, you're on the couch, you, you're screwing on your, on, your, on your guitar, and you, your riff comes, and then your hook comes, and then and after that, it's, five it's, it's and, another and it's five minutes. it's on TV minutes. right now, right? With, um, it's, dude, NASCAR, NASCAR. It's, it's killing it, man. It's, it's, a, it's every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're playing, the, they're playing the hell out of it. It's great. You know, it's just like NASCAR's... I, I love I love watching NASCAR. I just love when they crash. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like ho it's like hockey. Yeah. Yeah. I love when they fight. No you know? fights, no good game. No, nah, <laughs> no crashes, no, no good race. So you know, we we uh, Robbie, I think Robbie Gordon, um, we we did uh, the Chevy Rock and Roll 400 a few years ago, and uh, he was our man. You know, and he was like the guy who would who would crash a lot and fight a lot. <laughs> You know, so he was like, he was like the Le Link Gates of the San Jose Sharks, you know, when I was back in the day, you know, just boom, you know, and uh, and so that that was a great experience being in NASCAR and just like sitting there on the the in yeah. the inside the pit, you know, like inside the 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 raceway, you know, and just seeing how fast these guys go, and then and seeing a, seeing a crash, you that know, close. 30, 40 feet away from you, just you know, it, it, it was awesome. That would have been a pretty big honor, I bet. When yeah. NASCAR called and was like, hey, yo, can we use yeah, your car? Yeah, ESPN's like, hey, we really want to use uh, we, we, um, NASCAR. And we're like, well, what's going to cost you? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, 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 but they were... After the excitement. They were really <laughs> cool about it. And, uh, and you know, we had a great, rela great, great relationship with ESPN. And they've always jammed all our songs. And, and it's just, yeah, it was a great, great thing to be able to see that on TV. Yeah. You know, and I got to see it. Uh, I just got to see it three or four times, actually. So it's awesome. pretty cool, yeah. Well, congrats on your new album. And I guess leading up to the next few months, what do you guys have going on? Touring, you... touring, touring. Yeah, just uh, just going to be touring all around uh, America. Probably going to head over to Europe for a little bit. Head over some bases, you know. We were, we're already nice. we're, we're already we're already uh, talking to a bunch of uh, you know USO guys and uh, just trying to get over there to support our troops and make them happy and get, get, pump them up. You know, that's that's Love what we it. try to do. You know. So make sure everybody here you go get the new Reborn album. Oh, yeah. And uh, we will see you tonight. We'll oh, be, yeah. uh Central Florida Fair. We will make sure you're protected. We'll, we'll make worry. sure you get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take care of that. I'll wear my security T-shirt down there tonight. Uh, it's all good. But we will see you myself. Slor will be out there. Uh, thank you guys for... No, you cannot ride with us. Uh, you can ride with Slor. I'm sure his wife will be happy about that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today in our uh, RP Funding Theater living room. You'll also oh, be able yeah. to find this later. Whenever you guys leave, you can find yourself online, wjr.com. And we appreciate all of you guys being here. Round of applause for Chris from Trap. You guys rock. Thank you so much for coming. See you tonight at Rock Night.